Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have a whole video again for you this weekend to sell on both Etsy and eBay. Um, I hit a few yard sales today as you can see. Uh, no rummage sales or estate sales, just yard sales today. I guess the season is winding down a little bit here in East Tennessee. Um, but there were still quite a few different things to be had. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, I'll start over here. There's quite a lot of toys and like vintage children stuff I came across today. Um, so you can see here, this is a Mrs. Potato Head. This is a complete set and um, the box definitely has some wear to it but like I said it's complete it's in great shape inside it's from 1992 and this cost me 25 cents um so I figured I don't know how they do it on eBay, I didn't look at that, but I think I'll put it up on Etsy um, just to kind of test the waters with it really. It's not something I've sold before in terms of vintage toys and for 25 cents it's a good way to learn. Um, okay, I'll just kind of go across. It's in no particular order. <laughs> I got this set of vintage fondue forks. It's a set of six. Again, they're in good shape. Um, as you can see here, made in Japan. And what sort of interested me about them was that, as you can see from the ends here, they're all multicolored, which I thought was cool. And they're all wooden as well. So they've kind of got a bit of a mid-century feel to them. Um, and they cost me 25 cents as well. Then I got this complete set of vintage um, dragon dominoes. <laughs> they are all wooden, which are beautiful. There's a couple of little chips here and there as you tend to find with wooden dominoes. But as you can see, they have a very cool dragon design on the back of them all. Like I said, it is complete or 55 is it 55 pieces? Yes, 55 pieces, and they cost me 50 cents in their original box. This guy I'm completely unsure about. I've spent 50 cents on him. Um, here is the bottom. I cannot work out his age. It says made in the Republic of China. Well, I think that's what it said once <laughs> before the uh, before the label uh, wore away. And the, the sticker looks older to me. Um, with the gold and the red and the design and whatnot, it, it sort of screams being a little bit older to me. It, let me know what you think or if you're aware of this, what is it, Ruben's Originals, if you're aware of the brand, let me know. I paid 50 cents for this anyway. He is a planter. Um, and I just thought he was kind of cool. If he's older, then I will happily pop him up on Etsy, probably ASAP, like tomorrow. <laughs> um, and if he's not, I'm honestly not sure. Maybe he'll just become part of our decor. I don't know. But anyway, 50 cents is what I spent on him. Um, I found a few different little trolls today. So here's one. He's got the little bejeweled belly button. Made in career on the foot there. He cost me 10 cents. He's in fairly good shape overall. Just needs a little bit of a clean with a baby wipe. He, like I said, 10 cents. And I got this one as well. This is like a plush version. I don't know. Is it an authentic troll? I don't really know what I'm looking for. It's stamped 1992 on the back here. Um... I don't know what company made trolls. I guess I should have checked that out. But anyway, this is going to be Etsy and potentially eBay. I'm not sure, but certainly Etsy. I tend to do well with the more of the, like, the vintage plush and whatnot. And he doesn't seem to have any significant staining or anything like that. But I will still be giving him a, a good spot clean and whatnot. Um, okay, and he was 25 cents. I actually had also three of the nine, like the 1990s, early 1990s troll pencil toppers which were really cool and then my three-year-old got hold of them and I said don't put them in the diaper bag we're about to leave and now they've gone somewhere entirely different so they are somewhere in my house loitering I don't know where <laughs> but maybe I'll come across them someday who knows right um okay let me show you this guy real quick I'm not too sure why I picked him up other than the fact that he is vintage Christmas well I think he's Christmas anyway he looks Christmassy to me so he, he's this kind of patchwork design um he's jointed with buttons like a horse I guess um He's by applause and he does still have his original tag on this side here from 1986. I just thought he was kind of cool and that somebody would potentially enjoy him. And I paid a dollar for him. Um, and then let's show you her. So this is an older, like, like a vintage Minnie Mouse. She is sort of like a plush type thing up here. She's got a furry section here. Uh, cheerleader. She still has this tag again by applause hanging from her ear. And then she has this tush tag over. Oh, it's here somewhere. I don't know if she's ever been sort of displayed or not really. Both her hands are still in this wrapping. Um, well, she has tush tag somewhere. 
There you go. Not really on a tush, but you get it. Um, anyway, I paid $2 for her, and she's going to go up on Etsy as well, potentially eBay. Um, I am not sure what I'm going to ask for her. I'm, like, super hit and miss with uh, vintage Disney stuff, but I liked her. She's in really good shape, and at least 15 um, potentially more. We'll have to do some luck. Uh, okay. The Bernstein Bears, it's 25 cents. I just go ahead and pick this up to go uh, do with my Bernstein Bears lot there. And then I put it up on eBay. I don't bother cross-posting that on Etsy, even if they are vintage. I just don't find they do very well there. But when I get about 20 to 30, I just collect them sort of every weekend, everywhere I go, I find them for 10 cents, 25 cents, whatever. And then I ask sort of 30 to 35 for a lot of 20 to 30 books. Uh, same with the Dr. Seuss ones, especially, particularly the vintage ones, really. Sometimes I put them up by themselves on Etsy, depending on the condition. This one looks really, apart from this one little cursive name up here, it's in really, really nice shape. So I may just pop it up for sort of $7.95 usually um, on Etsy um, by itself. And I paid $0.25 cents for this book, and it's from 1963. Okay, what's next? All right, next I found this little vintage flower sifter. I'm thinking just kind of like farmhouse decor, rustic decor. And um, now the reason I really picked this up, it was 25 cents and you see all this rust down here. I have another item, it's a first aid kit, um, vintage first aid kit that is all rusted up. And someone gave me a great tip on a product to use to try and get the rust off. But I sort of bought this for 25 cents as an experiment. So it's win-win. If I try it out and it doesn't work, then I haven't used it on the first aid kit and destroyed that. And I've learned something and I've only lost a quarter. And if it does work, I get to sell this vintage flower sifter as a piece of rustic farmhouse decor on Etsy. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure these are a dime a dozen. I haven't looked into them, but probably $10 out of that. And like I said, it was a quarter. And we'll see how we do with the rust. Now, I'll let you guys know how that does as well. This little guy was 10 cents. I just thought he was super cute. He's got these little like cartoon mice on here. It's 1983, a Hallmark frame. Again, pretty good shape. Um, 10 cents, I'll go up on Etsy and probably ask, I don't know, like maybe $10. Maybe that's pushing it, I'm not sure, but I've, I've sold things for more <laughs> than the same kind of stuff. So we'll see, I'll, I'll sort of feel out the market and see what there is. Um, this was 25 cents as well. It's just this little, it's made in Japan, little vintage like wall plaque, but like how unusual is this? I'm not used to finding this kind of stuff, like older stuff. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool. So this is for sure going up on Etsy. Um, again, paid 25 cents, probably gonna ask 7.95 for that. Um, this I was interested in, it's like a little candle holder and it has a really cool subject matter, this fox hunting uh, thing wrapping around here. I thought this was really cool and I do really well with stuff that is sort of associated with fox hunting. Those keywords seem to do really well for me. Um, made in England, let me see, what's the brand? Ye old Couching and Hunting Days, Arthur Wood. I don't know anything about this. And the woman said it was her grandmother's and she asked me a dollar for it, but Check out the condition issue I missed. Can you see this? Look at that chip. <sighs> I totally overlooked that. So I paid a dollar for it. I, I may still list it. I'll do some research just because the subject matter is, is pretty darn cool. Um, we shall see. And other than that, it's in you know fairly good shape. But man, don't you just hate it when you miss stuff like that? I don't know. It seems to happen every, <laughs> every week. Um, okay, I'm going to leap over here real quick. I found this little, like, I guess it's like a newsboy style. Is that what it would be? It's got these little pop studs. Um, we call this a flat cap where I come from in Yorkshire, but I guess it's a newsboy style, potentially. Um, here's the label. Made in Taiwan. I'm thinking it's definitely a bit older, probably 90s. Um, Tennessee Rolls. So I'll go ahead and put that up on Etsy. Um, potentially eBay as well. And I'm probably going to ask like $12.95 for that, I would say. And I paid 50 cents for that. I also came across Mousetrap today. And this is definitely an older version. I paid 50 cents, as you can see there, for the whole thing. And it looks to be complete. I have not constructed it yet. I need to go through it. Um, this was, eh, it was sort of an experiment more than anything. Um, 
sort of trying to work out if I can sell, but there would be such specific pieces for this game. I was trying to work out, I guess, if I could part it out and sell the pieces. Um, and so I thought for 50 cents, it would be sort of a fun learning curve that I could kind of uh, give a go and uh, see what all I could do with it. And, you know, I love the game. It's going to be fun to play as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. I picked up this little lady here, Lady in the Tramp. She is, she cost me a dollar. She's in good shape and she is a Disney Parks, Walt Disney World plush, as you can see there. And you can see on the other part of the tag as well. Um, so, yes, she is going to be an eBay thing. She will not be Etsy. She's not a vintage piece. And I'm probably around $12.99, something like that, $14.99 tops. It really depends how she's doing at the time. Um, oh, let me move this and show you this. So a while back, I sold a blue, like kind of like a blue collar work shirt, I guess you could call it. Um, it was just like this, but it was just a button up short sleeve shirt. Similar label, as you can see here. This is a vintage piece. Um, and the name on it, the name tag was actually Jibby. And there was a lot more wear to that one. Well, I say that there was a lot of staining and things like that, specifically to the name tag. Now, this is a zip up long sleeve jacket, but the with some pins and um, I think the pins have obviously been added later there's a very random patch back here as well it says I smile because I have no idea what's going on I'm presuming that's not original to it um now the only thing is I have this to contend with it's been through the wash already but this is a is residue from an actual sticker it's sticker residue and I'm trying to work out how all to get this off don't think this is a goo gone situation right because of the fabric um I guess I could sit here and try and like meticulously peel it off but I don't think I'm going to get it all off so if anyone has any advice on cleaning that please do let me know um I'd love to try a few things it cost me 50 cents for this piece and I sold the shirt I think it was for 30 either 30 or 35 on on eBay even though it was cross posted eBay and Etsy so I'm definitely going to ask around that for this at least if not a bit more with it being a thick jacket and it being jacket weather coming up now um, but I would love obviously to get rid of this if all else fails I could always put like an older patch that I have like a USA flag patch or something like that on the arm but I would really like to get that off there so hey if you have any ideas let me know um this was a dollar and I figured I'd give it a go. It is made in the USA. It's a, I think it's 1990 was the year on it. Um, a Fisher Price dollhouse. No dolls included. Like I said, it was only a dollar. It has this sort of stair mechanism here, as you can see, and this little rotating table here. A good overall shape. I've not given it a thorough clean yet. Only thing is, I went ahead and missed this typical. Ugh one piece is broken so uh, again I can do Etsy and eBay it would be a lot better if I had some vintage little people from around the same era to put in there as well and I may hold out because I see those quite often um hmm we'll see I'll let you know how that goes but yes a dollar so I'm fairly pleased with that and I'll give it a good scrub this cost me 75 cents uh i just thought it was really cool no idea there's no maker's mark no idea sort of when it's from but it's obviously a slightly older piece this was in with a bunch of sort of older junk i guess you could say that they had thrown all in boxes um and i just thought that was a really really cool design it's, it is metal it's like a tin tray this is going to go on etsy and i'm definitely i think i'm going to ask around 20 dollars for this um at least honestly just because it's got such amazing colors in there and it is the season so i'll let you know how that goes um these let me think where does this 1984 so as you can see here alphabet flashcards. these will definitely go on etsy being vintage but also because people use these in craft projects quite often they've got some lovely slightly older graphics here um i've seen quite a few different crafts actually that people do now i do need to go through and make sure that they are complete and um, but it's obviously in its original box and i paid 25 cents for those so i was pretty excited about that that's the kind of stuff that i really love to find i, I couldn't tell you why <laughs> Other than I just, I really enjoy finding that stuff. So 25 cents for those, like I said, go on Etsy. Probably going to ask at least 15, maybe a little bit more, depending on how many are out there for purchase. I was quite excited about this one. So I paid $3.50 for this, which funnily enough is more than I usually pay. And it's it's not branded or anything like that. It is a vintage piece. This person's grandmother made this. It's crocheted. It's in this gorgeous, you know, red, uh, red 
white and blue perfect for fourth of july all crocheted um all handmade um and it's nice it's about the size of a twin bed perfect for throwing over a couch or something like that and i'm going to put this up on etsy as a vintage handmade item um and honestly i think i'm going to go fairly high with it with it being an older piece and and whatnot and it's in such fantastic shape there's not a mark on it um i just sold a couple of vintage blankets granted they were like the mexican southwest style so that's definitely um kind of in at the moment but i picked those up for a dollar a piece and i've been selling those for 125 dollars um, i've sold two last week alone <laughs> um so i'm definitely gonna go a little bit high on this it's obviously kind of out of season right now around fourth of july would be a great time to sell this um but um, i'll still go and give it a go on etsy i'll probably put it up on ebay as well to be fair um okay picked up this denim jacket uh it's got this kind of horse thing it's it's by aeropostle but it's pretty little liars line it's kind of like a an extra small uh, i guess it's like a junior it didn't say juniors but i guess it's a juniors i'm not sure anyway um it, it looks like it could be an extra small woman's to me honestly when i hold it up to something that i would wear where it's more like a medium large or whatever it's definitely kind of in conjunction with that and um, but it's in fantastic shape it doesn't look like she hardly wore it at all i paid three dollars for this but i did that thinking that i could probably get at least 20 to 25 out of it just with it being a high quality denim jacket anyway um and we'll see uh, this will be ebay definitely nothing to do with etsy there Pick this up for 10 cents just because it was 10 cents it was a dime like what are you gonna do right uh, it needs to go through the wash i think but it's just a little samsonite camera uh case camera holder um so that'll go up on ebay as well probably for you know around about 10 dollar mark this i actually paid 10 cents for it's this little vintage disney baby's crib sheet it's a fitted crib sheet um like I said, it was a dime, so I went ahead and grabbed it because I do so well with these vintage sheets, especially vintage Disney sheets on Etsy, and that's where I'll be going. It'll probably go on eBay as well. Um, I've seen these, like the baby, like the crib sheets, doing fairly well at the moment. And there's a couple of little spots that I'm just going to kind of go to town with on, with OxyClean and see if I can get them clean. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask for it yet. I'm going to have to see this particular pattern, how it's doing, but I have seen them go up fairly high. They can do pretty well, especially on auction. And last but not least, I thought this was something that it wasn't. So I picked up this blanket. It is in fairly rough shape now that I get it home. Can you see how it's getting threadbare in places? Um, but it has this amazing sort of Southwest uh, pattern going on as well, running throughout. It's really, really cool. And I thought it was older than it was essentially. So this, I don't know how you uh, pronounce this. Be dull, I don't know. Don't hold me to it made in the usa this is one uh, a brand that you see a lot of different vintage like fleece throws and things like that come from and some of them depending on the design can sell really really well what i neglected to notice was that here on the back is the website <laughs> so it's definitely not super old and therefore it's probably just really well used because of how threadbare it is so i don't really know what i'm going to do with this i'll do some more research it could still be technically from the 90s with the website i suppose there um but i don't know exactly how old it is We'll have to look into this particular pattern and see what all I can fathom. Um, and that is everything today. Um, so honestly, I don't even know how much I spent today. I'm going to say that it was around the $30 mark. And then I picked up a few things for myself as well while I was out. Um, but in terms of things to sell, probably around $30. Um, yeah, and now I just got to crack on and list all this stuff. You know, it's trying to get as much stuff up listed. In fact, more stuff listed than what is selling every single week. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to do at the moment. That is my goal. Um, so yeah, so chime in. Please feel free to comment. Let me know if you have any thoughts on the stuff I picked up. If you have any clues, that is great. Solve the mysteries, I beg of you. <laughs> um, and yes, I just love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Sub uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back tomorrow with my weekly sales video to let you know what I've sold this week on Etsy and eBay. And guys, I just hope you have an amazing weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.